Li Hebom, the head of Pyeongchang Olympic Organizing Committee AFP slash Getty Images with her only three days before the start of the Winter Olympics, South Korea deployed hundreds of military personnel Tuesday after an outbreak of norovirus sickened 32 workers and left 1,200 security staffers in quarantine. To address the shortfall in security workforce due to the isolation, 900 military personnel have been deployed to take over the work of the civil safety personnel, the Pyeongchang Organizing Committee said in a statement. They will work across 20 venues until all affected workforce are able to return to duty. Tests over the last five days on the water, used for cooking and general consumption have proved negative for the highly contagious virus, which causes stomach pain, nausea and diarrhea, organizers said. But hygiene inspections will be increased on all food and beverage facilities at the Olympics, which are scheduled to open Friday during a cold snap. Surveys on tap water, the food preparation staff, and food items are currently being conducted to trace the route of transmission, organizers said. Games chief Lee Hebom said Tuesday that preparations for the first winter Olympics in Asia outside Japan were complete, according to Reuters. We are fully operational with many of our athletes and officials here and settling into their lives. In the villages and training is underway at all venues, Lee told a news conference. Our disease control center and other related government agencies here are now discussing countermeasures and will come up with proper measures and will be announced soon. Lee said about the outbreak, officials said leaflets about the virus with instructions on what to do are being distributed. That is the first thing that you will have also hand sanitizers, said Olympic Games Executive Director Christoph Duby. All areas are getting disinfected. They, organizers, will be extremely diligent to sanitize anything that came into contact with the persons. Very stringent measures are in place when it comes to food and beverage. Lee said the measures would have no effect on security arrangements at the Games, which are held about 50 miles south of the border with North Korea, with whom the South has technically been at war since 1953. Cold weather, however, could be an issue, with the opening ceremony in the open-air Olympic Stadium expected to be frigid. Temperatures drop to as low as minus 5.8 degrees at night. Lee said some fans will not attend the ceremony despite having bought tickets, while some competitions could be affected. Regarding the potential of the delay due to the weather, the International Olympic Committee and the International Federation have strict rules, he said. For example, ski jumping cannot take place if there's a strong wind. Lee said bags with hot packs, seat warmers, Blankets, hats and jackets would be distributed to spectators in an effort to keep them warm at the start of what could end up being the coldest winter games in decades, with post-wires.